Hey guys, Repairman here to repair your builds. Alright, so here we got Excalibur. Every noob's got it. Every noob's got to have it and have it decked out. So now let's see how to take it pro style. Alright, so here we got Chromatic Blade. Very new mod that does substantial impact on this build. When you have 180% power strength and up, you're basically going to have a 100% status on any melee weapon you're throwing on this thing, because it only takes the mods off of your weapons. So with this, you need no status mods whatsoever. So that makes your melee build also completely changed as well, which I'll show you in a second as well. Now, because of Arcane Energize, I'm going with no efficiency, and I'm going with duration. Power strength cranks down that efficiency, cranks up the strength, and quick thinking just as an extra precaution in case the health gets too low. Um, Guardian, that helps me with armor, gives me way more armor than steel fiber, that's why I swap that around now that that does a set amount of 600 armor rather than a percentage it's well worth it to throw that on here now it's actually usable and prime flow so you got a little bit of a buffer not only for quick thinking uh, but also for your um, life strike and now before you cast this you're going to want to have energizer procked and going um, Steel Charge gives you extra capacity, so you don't need quite as many Forma into it, and also uh, gives you 60% melee damage to you and your whole team, of course. And this thing does some crazy damage. As you see here, that's just the stats before the buff. It's going to do even more damage once the energizer kick or energy conversion kicks in as well. Alright, so let's get into these, the weapon build. Of course, it doesn't matter the weapon, but I like using the Scott, Prisma Scana with it. It's a throwback to when the uh, the Augment mod for it actually gave you extra damage to the Excalibur. Now it doesn't. Alright, so now we're gonna, with this, I'm going to go with vi Viral. So I'm going to use Prime mod, give me even more damage, and Cold to make viral. Condition overload, because I'm going to have 100% status despite not having any status mods on. You know, give me some more speed, give me some more damage, and life strike, so I just channel and my health keeps just going up and up and up, and I don't have to worry about that. Now, because of the fact that there's n no need for status, next I'm going with True Steel to give me some crit, and Organ Shatter to give me some extra crit damage. So I'm doing even more damage. I'm critting, I'm doing status all the time. I mean, what more can you ask for than a weapon that's going to crit all the time, and or crit often, and status all the time, and just do crazy damage. Alright, so let's get into it and demo the build. I know you guys always keep asking, hey, Repairman, demo those builds, man. I just don't want to see the build. I want to see a demo. So for those of you that like to see the demo, stick around for that. That'll be loaded up in a second. Not my absolute favorite frame, but I like to change it up and play with different frames. You know, play with one single frame. Things get pretty dull. So I always change it up. And it's but it was just a hit about time that I get around to Excalibur and rework it. So, here's that. I definitely love the fact that now you don't have to worry about having the arcanes on your side on so now it's just like mods you can it makes it so much more useful with those arcanes
and I'll wait till I get that arcane uh, or the energy conversion and now shabam exalted blade <laughs> and it's just devastating it's status procs killing them and it's just destroying everything in its wake Of course, now for Excalibur to work really good with the PlayStation on the PlayStation, anyways, I find it's useful to change up the attack so that instead of having to press circle, which you can't move your head if you're pressing circle, it's just you only got one thumb. <laughs> so I changed the melee to be the um, the R2 button, which means when you're using a melee weapon um, in your primary hand. You're gonna have to press R2. But interesting is, is when you're not using your melee weapon, and you're using, say, a primary weapon, you still press Circle to, like, quick pull out your melee and do melee attack. And your primary is still R2 with when you change like that, which is pretty useful for like scale. Took a little bit of getting used to um, <laughs> pulling out a weapon, press the circle, and it's blocked, and it's like, what? <laughs> yeah, but once you get used to it, it's not too bad. Especially if you use Excalibur a, a bit, you're definitely going to want to make that change so you can have your m move motion free, you can move around, see, you can actually see where you're shooting, not just, oh, I hate, only point one direction, only turn once in a while. You have to turn, and then you can fire. Not useful at all, then. Is it just devastating? Now, it might not be a map actual map nuker and probably more viable to compare against other frames in higher levels so but just for curiosity let's see what it did against the other frames see if we oh wow hey look at that actually got top damage wasn't expecting that uh let's see what we got ash unranked see that's could be depending on me for us good ash build might get more hard to say for sure kind of really RNG plays into that because you gotta see him not like a map nuker it's easy to compare map nuker builds that are able to hit the same range if they both hit 50 meters or both hit the whole map then it's a fair and even comparison when you got something like the uh, Banshee compared to uh, a mag, and the Banshee has way more range. Um, they're holding them out of the mag's range and damaging them for quite a while before they get within the mag's range. So the damage comparison there is um, not a fair comparison because you might actually be then slowing the mission down even though it shows you're doing more damage in mission you're doing less damage than the mag could have done in a you know, less damage in the same amount of time because if I if I'm able it's kind of like um, a real tall guy if a real tall guy has arms way longer than you and he's holding you away from him holding you from getting within his range you can have the strongest punch in the world but if you can't land it and it's not going to help you much. So it makes it an unfair playing field. Now, whether you want it to be an unfair playing field or not, <laughs> situations change. <laughs> and that might be something you can use to your advantage, uh, or something you can argue to say, "Hey, no, that's not, yeah, that's not fair. Eh. Everything's in the eye of the beholder." Well, hope you guys enjoyed that. 
until next time, keep them formers cooking, because you'll know you'll need them for all them builds you'll be making.